scrub error. Scrub error. So bad at streaming. Right, hopefully this should be a little bit less intense than Pony Island. At the very least it should uh, it should be a bit more familiar to everybody. Or at least I say that. It follows a bit more of a familiar pattern. So I'd like to warmly welcome everybody to uh, Fog. I, th I believe it's Fog. Fog. Sometimes called, um, I think it's part of a, a series of games called Dream Fog. Um, it's a game by uh, Nail. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's quite up. It's quite frequently updated. I think it was updated as frequently it goes like a few months. So that's good. Unlike most of the shit which has been abandoned for like five years or is so old that everyone's forgotten about it. Um, and it's. I guess I would call this more of kind of a. From what I've seen anyway, which is not a lot, admittedly. I played it for like a couple of minutes. Um, it's more of a traditional fan game. It doesn't it doesn't stray too far outside the bounds of what fan games normally provide. But at the same time it does add some stuff that is a little different and it has some things that I think are quite charming. So um, so what it says on the the uh, the wiki is um, the game takes place on November 1998 and follows the lucid dreaming exploits of Leon Tegan and Emery, as they explore their shared but corrupted dream world after their friendship fell apart. Um, good, let's do it. So this is only going to be a, a little short kind of uh, thing. I, I kind of just want to see if this game has legs, really. I mean, we might do it a little bit more frequently. I like, I like, you know, trying these things out, and I, I, I kind of want to bring in more fan games, like a, a big variety of them, to, to, because there's so many out there, and I want to churn through them a bit, and I want to see where the, the good shit is and the bad shit is. In fact, I wanted to do something a lot more fun than what we're doing tonight, but because the fucking microphone broke, I don't really want to make too big a deal about it because the microphone is kind of a big thing. This thing irritates the shit out of me. I mean, I was listening to the fucking Pony Island thing, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it still isn't great. Um, so we're going to have to... We'll, we'll have to get that fixed. Uh, so that's... Yeah, what do we do? It's a dream, it's a dream game. It's a dream game. So... Interestingly though, um, this has two different versions. It has a traditional sort of RPG maker version. Oh god, it's raining, get an umbrella! Um, it has an RPG maker version, which is what we're playing. Which should look very familiar to everybody. Or, as an alternative, it has a, a sort of a web version. Which uses, I think, a, a much more up-to-date version of RPG maker. RPG maker... So a second ago, MV, <laughs> good, um, and it it runs like a big window. I think it's it has different animations and things, which is which makes me wonder if um Leland is like updating two different versions of the game. Which if if that's the case, that's pretty impressive, um, because it, it means that you've got these two different ways of playing it. You don't necessarily have to go through all the rigmarole of getting an RPG maker. I have no idea if you do for this or not, in all honesty, but um. Let's uh, let's see what this game has to offer then. Um, as I said, we're not gonna we're not gonna get stupidly sunk into this because um, I got a sore neck. I got shit to do tomorrow, and um, oh god, I got loud noise. Um, I'm just gonna quickly check. A little peek at this. My tablet is like nearly completely out of battery from my fanning around. Um, Dame says fudge is so rude. No consideration for phone calls. Um, we're just we're just talking the spiel, so there's nothing happening. Um, there's there's nothing happening at the moment. We're just wandering about with some ominous music playing. Uh, Zodi says, "Hey, are you non-American, Fidge?" Um. Well, if you didn't catch it, my name, as I identified in Pony Island, is President Donald Trunt. POTUS. President POTUS. President POTUS. President Potion, maybe. Potion, that's a good one, isn't it? P-O-T-I-O-N. President of the International Orange News. International Orange News. President, is that Potion? 
Podium. Yeah, must be. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I guess I'm stalling because you're on the phone. So, uh, mission accomplished. Right. Uh, uh, let's go out here. Uh, you say mate a lot, so I was wondering. Um, no, I just think that you're all my mates, really. Mate. Mateys. Matey. There used to be a bubble bath called Matey in the UK. I don't know if you still get it. It had, like, bottles that were shaped like sailors. Um, I could say something else. Pow, chum, buddy. Uh, pow. Go pow. Pow's a good Scottish. Good Scottish kind of. You're right, pow. You're right, pow. How's it hanging? What are you saying to it? Could do that. Could be right. Scottish lad, didn't it? Ah, uh, see, that's it. That's the London coming out. That's the fucking city. So the city does to you, isn't it? I like that noise. Seems like it's slightly on the loud side. I might just move it down a single notch to keep it going in here. Now, you'll see what I mean about this. I mean, my my comment that this is kind of um. Certainly a very familiar sort of layout, but at the same time, it has some nice things like that effect, and the, the music certainly manages to be pretty, pretty delightfully inoffensive. Uh, as far as I understand, this is a solo effort. I, I, I believe it is entirely a solo effort, um, to my knowledge, but you know. My knowledge is kind of limited. I only have so many knowledges, and then once I have too many knowledges, the other knowledges start coming out, and then before you know it, back to square one. Um, Dame says, I was in London for four days, and uh, I had the accent for a week after. Um, oh yeah, I was, I was, I had an accent requested of me by uh, a real life orange. Which I'm not going to do right now. I think I need to be in the right zone for that. That and I think I'll need to do it on, on Twitter. I need to make a big deal about it. Now, I'm sure there's something to do in here. Because I I think I, I must have came across it completely by mistake. As I often do when it comes to gimmick hunting. Uh, I, I think this is the first place I came before. I think. Might have been. Hopefully the game's not just kind of like shoved a massive troll at us as the, the first place you can go. So that would be a dick move, wouldn't it? You got an irritating sound there, little stop sign men. What about this? This looks promising. Nope. Um What is uh what's going on here? Demos says, I love the romantic and poetic Scottish accent. Really? Um, oh, it was Burns Night the other week. Um, in case you're not familiar, Burns is like a famous Scottish poet. If you want to look up poets, you should look up uh, Rabbi Burns. Robert Burns. Famous poet from the coast who's uh, got lots of lovely poems. Look at these wiggly worms wiggling about. Wiggling worm. So apparently this game has puzzles in it. I'm not too thrilled about that. Puzzles. Puzzles are never good. I wonder at what point we get to become other characters. Do you know what? Do you know what? This game immediately wins my fucking favour. And do you want to know why? Listen to that noise. Listen to that footstep. Listen to how fucking quiet and beautiful it is. It's just... It's just... It's just... Fuck me. If, if that was more a fucking... Oh yeah. I'd kill you if I had a, a means of doing it. But I don't... I don't think I do anyway. Ah, oh, we've got a question mark. Duke, duke, duke. Dreaming. So we are Leon. It says... Kiritsuki on the right there. I don't know what that means. Um, could mean anything, really. Uh, what are we going to do, though? We're going we're gonna to wander in here. Oh, God, it's like... It's like a splash of cold water. See this 
these footsteps. <sighs> They're so peaceful. Things are a bit extreme out in this uh, sunny outlook. Um, activate all. Uh, Zuri says, activate all honeycombs. Unlock speed. I doubt it. I doubt it. You think they're gonna give you the speed that easy? We probably walk past the fucking speed power up, knowing me. Um, Dame says, I really love the Scottish accent. They were super friendly to me, and I took a liking to it. If I could move anywhere, it'd be Scotland. I'm waiting for dinner too. I clean so my man cooks usually. Um, Kiritsuki, I assume, is his Yumi name. His Yumi name. <coughs> yummy name. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Leon. Mm -mm. Leon's a food chain in the UK, I think. I'm sure there's a food called. I'm sure there's a food called Leon. I know that sounds stupid. I know it does. Don't try and correct me. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, dick move. Dick move. Dick move, Leon. I like your orange hair. It's very, uh, very nice. I like this door. It's cool. So it's got a kind of an industrially theme around it, this area. Door puzzles. I fucking hope not. We're in an office of some kind, it looks like. Well, um, I have to rescue. You have to rescue the hostages. That's what you do in CS office. Uh, a hostage has been rescued. Counter terrorist win. Do, 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 do. It's a smelly face. Quite a few smelly faces. It's very, it's very nice. It's very, I, I like the kind of. Area themes I've got so far. Okay. Traffic cones. My old fucking nemesis. Cunts. Not going in there, I guess. Looks like a secret door if I ever had one. This plant's different. Doesn't, doesn't really mean anything, it seems. Hmm. Alright. Okay. I guess we've done that. We can say that we did it. Do. Everything's very subtle. Subtle. Much like me brushing Twitch's servers with a feather. I feel like I'm brushing the game. Well, the game's brushing me with a feather. It's just waiting to. This is like. This is like an action scene in a. An, like a. a 80s movie where you know like the protagonist is sneaking down a corridor a poorly illuminated corridor with his gun out like looking around each corner and there'll be like a baddie who goes <laughs> and then um bruce willis just shoots him bang and then he's like sneaking forward again sneaking forward and then he shoots him again <laughs> okay we did that bit it's cool though, I like the music. Funky. Funky. Sudden silence? What do you mean, sudden silence, Zodi? What, what's sudden silence? I'm not silent. The game's not silent. There's definitely shit happening. Oh wow. And today, on the Great British Cabinet, we've got some, uh, Cabinets to go through. Oh, look, there's an eyeball on that one. It's just you and me. What? You. you... Oh, the video. For... Did it? Uh, if it did, it, I didn't see it. I'm watching. Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's a baddie. You gotta get out of here. Shit, man. Shit, we got no anti baddies to fuck. And there's an ominous beep as well. 
I think we should not let that guy touch us. I think that's going to be bad news. Spooky blob indeed. The spookiest of blobs. We've found an opponent that we cannot hope to... to defeat. Hey. Look at that. It's it's me. Okay. Let's go talk to it. I'm sure no, no bad will come of that, right? Oh, shit. It's a dude with a fucking hat. Oh, he's coming. He's pathfinding his way here quite quite well compared to what you normally get in fucking fan games. Uh, oh, look. Blood everywhere. That's not good. I'm digging the music. It's very tense. I guess we have to try and get to the door then. Hopefully that guy's not like right there. Let's, come on. Shit. Shit, man. We gotta. We, I'll tell you what we gotta do. We gotta get him to come around. Here. Yeah. Just no. Stop! Stop! Pathfinding. Like that. Yeah, there was music, Zodi. It's not not right now. Zodi says I can't do any music. There was music, but not here. Uh, it's just quiet here. Maybe we'll turn the game volume up just a little bit, because now that we've got out of the fucking main drag, it seems to have gotten quiet again. Let me just bring up my mixer. Hey, you. You're a cunt. Look at you, your fucking hat. Fedora friend. Oh, shit. That might have been my chance. All right. Ah, look at this. Right, we need to... I'll tell you what we do. Oh, that's... That's what he says, Dad's home. I love that flash. It's my favourite. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, down here. Shithead. Shit hat. Come on. Yes! Yes, MLG! Come on! Run for it! Oh, he's coming. He's remorseless. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it out. Uh. So. Let's try not doing that this time. Let's see what happens. Have a, a wander around the spoopy office. I wonder how old the protagonist in this game is supposed to be. It's not a very uh, neat, stay-at-homey kind of uh, dream, is it? Hello, this is Gate. This is Fog. This is Fog. We're playing... I don't know if Fog stands for something. I don't think it does. It's part of a series of games called Dream Fog. It's something that I wanted to try just for a little while. Look at this! The, the pig snout of justice. Which takes us here. Um, to, I mean, to give you a little spin, it's it's a, it's a fan game in a, probably the truest sense. It keeps keeps its uh, its roots known, which is nice. Makes a change. Why is there like a red strip here? Hmm. How interesting. All the music is very kind of. Subtle and ominous. We haven't got any money. There's an arrow pointing left. I ain't listening to it. I'm gonna play with this extra extra sketch. That doesn't do shit. It's fucking lying. How are you, Lucy Gate? Hope you're well. This uh, this is a fan for a fun fan Friday for you. A, fa a fantastically fun Friday. What's this? delicious. I'll tell you what we do need, we need speed. Like, as in, go faster stripes. What we don't need is fucking El Traficono. Mm. 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 Okay. I wonder, actually, I'm going to check something quickly. No. 
don't know why I thought that would work. Shut up. Oh, pardon me. We're not going to be playing this um, uh, too late because I just realised what time it is. Fucking the evening has just vanished. This is what happens when you're streaming like a madman. Well, that's a high pitched noise. This is a cool background. It reminds me of like Max Payne. That bit where you're running along the uh, the blood trails. I tell you what, this this has the the, the sensation of a, quite a complex dream world. Um, I don't know sensation is the right phrase for it. Uh, Lucy, okay, the other thing to note about this stream is my mic is fucked, so we're using the old shitty. Well, I say the old, the mic that came with my headset, which is really bad. Like it is one of the worst. My headset mics I think I've ever used. Uh, Dame says that orange hall hallway is delicious, don't eat it, it's bad for you. This looks like that uh, movie with the cube on it. What the shit's going on here? Hmm. Is this a puzzle of some kind? What are you guys doing? Nothing interesting. Now we're just moving this way. They got their own adventures to go on. They don't need to listen to me. Uh, oh, hockey night. Uh, thanks for tuning in. So I hope you you had a nice evening. Enjoy whatever you get up to. Have a nice weekend. Oh shit! I guess we're following this like a fucking conveyor belt. Um. Oh, this this looks like this looks like. A well of frustration right here. How to really upset Fudge. Shit. I think we need to go this way anyway. Um, what's this? Okay, so I guess we've come full circle and we've managed to find the door back onto the the Shanexus. Try this. Okay, we, we we got the question mark. I'm quite pleased about this. Uh, I think we just fucked ourselves up a bit there. We go, so you can move on the circles freely. Let's just do that then. Let's fucking move on the circles. That is a loud ass noise. Let's have a look around in this area and see if there's anything else I've not gone on. If it's just plus men, plus men wandering about on their silly fucking adventures. What the fuck are you even doing with your life, man? Get your head up straight. Get your heads up straight, Joe. They're just marching. Doesn't seem like there's a lot going on in here, really, beyond an immense number of arrows. That's the way we came in. We don't need to go that way again. Not right now. Sorry, I keep bumping because this microphone has a big fucking um, uh, pop. It's not a pop filter, but you know, a, a filter on it. I keep knocking it by mistake. You'd think the fact it has something like that is because it's going to be a really good microphone, but it's not because it's shit. Um, that's the way I came in. Let's follow the little blue circles for a bit. Let's see where that takes us. Follow the blue circles. Follow the blue circles. Follow, 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 follow the blue circles. We're off to see the circle monster. The wonderful circle monster of Dream Fog. Because, 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 because the wonderful dreams he fogs. Yeah, these lyrics aren't really the, the best. Either. You can see why they didn't go with that for the uh, the film release of Fog. Okay, I think we've just gone in a big fucking circle. A big fucking foggy circle. Uh, let's, let's, 
let's take the thing back to the puzzle world so I can tear my hair out a bit. Let's go. There's a question mark there. I won't. I won't. I won't touch it. So to do that, we need to go up. Let's go this way, and then down here. Do we need to get all of these? Is that an idea? They look, they make it sound like a switch of some kind. Diddle diddle, riddle diddle. So we did that one. I'm hoping it doesn't like require you to do every one each time. Let's just check. Does this make a clicking noise? No. So we've already got that one. Okay. Let's um. I did it again. Did it again. No, knocked the mic. Amateur error. Fuck off. Just go up here. No, let's not go up there actually. Let's go this way. Uh, yes. That is a load of noise, but look at that. It's a thing. Come here, thing. I'm coming to get you. Let's, uh,. Let's go up here. Raneth TV is asking, did you make this game? No, I certainly did not. Um, I do not have the talent to, to make video games. I just kind of play them for a laugh. For a laugh. Stress balls. Stress balls. Excellent. Let's get some stress balls going on. Oh, we have equipment. We have, uh, we have uh, equipment. We can get some intellect. Excellent. Just what I've always, just what I've always wanted. Stress balls. Okay. Um. Let's get out of here before I get stress balls. Stress balls. -d. Let's go in a door. Let's go in this door. That's like fun. Holy shit, hell! What's fucking going on in here? I like these little noisy tiles. Unlike in, say, some other fan games that we could mention, they don't go making ear rapey noises. Uh, Let's get asks, are there any effects? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I'm probably just too shit at the game to find them at the moment. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying. That's a lot of money. So much money I don't have. Why did that make a noise? That's the dollar sign. Noisy dollar sign. Uh, there are, according to the wiki, there are effects, but it might require a coordinated act of uh, intelligence for me to, to reach them somehow. There's something quite, kind of like a nice home cooked meal, um, a nice home cooked meal by your by your folks. Oh shit! Um, there's something quite nice about that. I mean, it's it's refreshing to have something that kind of fills the sort of normal fan game bill. And I know I, I do kind of complain about this a lot. I, I've complained about it historically where a game is just a sort of derivative of like the Yumi Nikki formula and it doesn't really add um, anything on its own hugely. Uh, oh shit, this might be quite difficult. Just run. Just run, Leon. Just run. Just, just, just go. God, he's fucking close to us, isn't he? Oh man, we're not gonna we're not gonna get away. Just run, just run. Um, it's fucking noisy in here. Look at this, it's like Tetris blocks. This is like some kind of crazy funhouse. Again, it reminds me of that movie Cube, the Cube, all the different sort of doors and things in it. We just need to find... Uh, DM says if there's no effects, I'd be okay with that, but you should be able to run. I'm pretty sure there will be speed effects. I'm almost certain of it. I just need to find it. I just need to be not shit at the game. 
which <laughs> sounds easy, but hey, you never know. I can find a way to be shit. I think my tablet's decided to fuck off. What's this? Is this anything? Hmm. Guess not. I guess not. Um. Dame says, I love the movie The Cube. It was so different. Watched it not long, not that long ago. Uh, yeah, it's. It's an interesting movie. It. It's got a cool concept, which I'm not sure it really utilizes to its. its fullest potential, but these must be like doors of some kind that you can trigger, because look, there's like a big thing around it. Um, I always have this thing about like horror movies that that you know, especially when they have like a, a sort of a, a sort of a sci-fi or a, a a background that I find quite interesting. Um, I'm thinking of particular movies like Sunshine. Um, and things like that, where, you know, they have a potentially quite smart topic, but at the same time, you know, they drizzle, they drizzle all these sort of horror tropes over it. Do I need money to go in there or something? I guess so. The music in here is not doing it so much for me. It's a bit repetitive. It's kind of... Uh, Kinda not doing it for me. So I think we've gone down everywhere, haven't we? Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, like Sun Sunshine is a good example of that. You know, there's there's some really cool concepts in that film, and it just doesn't really it just doesn't really go anywhere with it. Uh, it, it instead, you know. They, they have to bring in these, you know, elements that I find just make the the film weaker. Really, it's not a bad film, but you know, it's you know, it's a kind of like a missed opportunity. Like, you know, there's a, there's a balance that you need to kind of strike. Like, uh, like the Alien films, those have you know, kind of deep running. There's nothing over there, is there? I might as well just get out of here. I don't need to talk to you, mate. I don't need to deal with you at all. Um, the Alien films have sort of sci-fi themes, but also manage to be really fucking terrifying. Um, and that's really where I think films need to kind of... Films of that nature need to, to try and aim for. Now you could argue that the cube is not really supposed to be like that. It is supposed to be kind of like a, a thriller, sort of not a thriller, uh, action horror sort of, sort of jizz, sort of jazz. I was gonna say sort of jism, but it's uh, look at that. It's a big question mark. Um. Lucigate says, this area is pretty much the checkered tile path from Yuminiki. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's no bad thing, because that's one of my favourite little bits of Yuminiki. Uh, beautiful, beautiful music. That's what I'm going to be doing later on. Making beautiful music. By myself. Um, Dame says, I like movies that make me think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A, a horror movie that, um, or a thriller, as you say, that that gets your brain going, is uh, always, in my mind, going to be more interesting than a horror movie that just goes for kind of cheap, gimmicky D. There's just there's a D there. I just thought I would point that out. Um, you know, horror elements, you know, tropes. You did a little bit, but I would I would be more interested in seeing something that, you know, plays on your expectations and in new ways and tries to, you know, break out the, the mold a little bit. 
That's the money counter again. I'm trying to think of some good examples, but my brain I think my brain's a bit fucking fried from playing Pony Island. I'm just like uh I'm not sure there's fucking anything going on in here, man. Can we walk on that? Oh yeah, we can. How can we get ourselves some fucking money? That's what we need. <laughs> I like that. Do, 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 do. Aha, look at this. We're going down... What could be a giant creature? Or just a giant mess of noisy shapes that takes us to a colourful door. That's the door we came in, I think. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We're going to check out one more area. Hopefully we'll get an effect. And then I think we'll call it quits for the night. This is like the best door. Very earthy around here. God, I was at work today and I got like the, the weirdest, like, really strong smell of soil. Like, just like dirt. It's like, just really, really, really strong. A bit strange. Teleporter? Yeah, I know how these things work. I know how to be an RPG maker. I do. Uh, not that I know how to be an R I don't know how to make... Well, I do, actually. I can, I can work with RPG maker pretty well. It's not, it's not complicated, really. So it's, it's pretty, pretty basic when you get down to it. Um, not to say that that diminishes the work that people do in it, but you know, it's it's probably in the same kind of rungs as like game maker and stuff, isn't it? It's, which is again, it's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's accessible tools to people who aren't, um, you know, uber elite coders or you know, happy to go fucking, you know, I don't know, download the fucking Quake 3 source code and turn that into some fucking wanked out amaze balls game. There's a good uh, a good phrase for you, amaze balls. Not to be confused with maze balls, which are either uh, balls of maze, so, you know, a bit kind of doughy, perhaps, something like that, or balls which are kind of amazing. Or balls which have mazes on them. You know, like maze. I just look at these things, they have faces on them. Look at that. The right one looks kind of happy, the other one not so much. Yeah, you do get kind of notes of like Yumi Nikki all over the place in this, don't you? Especially this area. Yeah, this in particular. This reminds me of that bit with the Flying dude in the sky, the the infinite falling man or whatever it's called. But at the same time, it's quite chilled. Oh, you fucking god damn it! God damn it! We could go back. Ranth TV says this game is putting me to sleep. Uh, is that good? Do you want to go to sleep? Do you want to be excited? I'm sorry that um, this is the best game that my computer can run. I can't run Halo 2 because um, because my computer's not good enough. And um, I don't like Halo. Sorry. Not a big Halo. Not a big Halo man. Uh, we were playing a more thrilling... Uh, I say a more thrilling game. Certainly a game that had happenings in it. Earlier on, actually, do you know what? Just thinking about it, we seem to have hit a natural sort of dead end. I get a call out here because I'm just realizing that it's uh, getting quite late. So, putting you to sleep, I think it's going to put me to sleep actually. Let's, can we wake up in some manner? Hit every button. There we go. Pinch the old chikaroo. So, we d we've had a really shit outing, I have to say. We didn't get any effects. The only, um,. The only thing we got was some fucking stress balls. <laughs> That's their only pickup from the whole fucking experience, which is a little disappointing. 
for a haul, if I'm honest. I would have expected at least a bicycle, a knife, a chainsaw, uh, a gun, uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, but hey, you can't win them all, right? Maybe I need to do a bit of fucking research before I just dive into this. Let me know what you guys think of this. Is this game interesting? We could play this a bit more. Um, but, I mean, this is me trying to flesh out something which I want to experiment with, which is kind of broadening the fan game horizons in a live manner that's going to involve lots of alcohol. Because if Ran Ranith is going to get bored with the game, he can get amused by me getting drunk and falling about the place. It'll be hilarious. Um, so if you need any help in RPG Maker, just holler. I didn't make this. Uh, this is my game. This, somebody else made this game. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't do the RPG Maker groove. I'm afraid. Uh, I just know enough how to hack it, not really to make anything in it. I know. I, I know more or less how to get around it, but um, yeah, I don't. I, this is not my game. But I appreciate the offer. Thank you. Um, so we're going to leave it here, guys, because I'm I'm tired and I I got shit to do tomorrow. Uh, but and I need to get my mic sorted and I have a new toy to play with and everything else. You guys have got shit to do. You have got weekends to enjoy. And uh, oh, my back sore. I can leave it there. Right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That's a good what three hours of streaming we've done. It's been a pleasure. It always is. Um. Hope you all enjoy your weekend, and uh, I shall see you all next time. Let's save the game. I like the save music. The sick, sick chords, yeah. Oh look, change dreamer. Shit, maybe we should have done that. Oh well. Next time. Good night everybody.